Wembley Arena for the first evening standard London Five Side tournament in eight years. There's actually 14 teams from the capital competing tonight. There's plenty of stars here and there's a very noisy 7,000 crowd behind me. Tottenham are a good, I mean, you know, I'm not no biased here. Tottenham are a good team and uh, I've worked with them and seen the way they play, but they've got a few lads in there. I think there's a lot of pride at stake playing against uh, fellow London teams. Um, Everybody wants to be top dog in London, so uh, there's a lot to play for. Yes, it's, it's a big competition. It's uh, who's the best at five a side, basically, in, uh, in London. And hopefully it can be Chelsea. Well, five minutes each way here tonight, anybody's got a chance, and that's what's going to make it so interesting. It's a great event, so don't go away. Here's tonight's lineup. All the top London teams are here, except for Arsenal, due to the obvious commitment in the FA Cup final this weekend. Basically tonight, if you lose, you go home. With the exception of the highest scoring losing team who gets the last quarter final spot. So let's join the action in the first match. It's Watford versus Millwall. An attempted shot. Total commitment from both sides in this first round match. And there's the first goal scored by Barber. Millwall take the lead. Solomon. As Hassan Tala wide. And a goal for Porter. Really fight strike there by Gary Porter. So that goal enough to put Watford through to the next round. In the next match, neither team could score. So to a sudden death penalty shootout, it gave Kevin Keane a chance to make amends for his earlier miss. at the first hurdle and on to Chelsea late in Orient and there's the first goal for Chelsea from Steve Clark but this is Otto for late in Orient five all on penalties it's down to the keepers and Dave Besson to go first to a save but now Turner himself to has to take one at the other end and he scores at Chelsea go up the first shock of the night good awareness shown by Gala now has he got through here well that's one of the best goals of the night so far Peter Garland scores starting to his by Peter Garland this one Dyer, now oh, the break is on, and Pitcher can clinch it here, and he has! Darren Pitcher makes it 2-0 for Chuck. Charlton through to the last day then, next up Wimbledon versus Palace, and another sudden death penalty shootout. Dean Holdsworth putting the Dons ahead. John Humphrey steps forward for Palace. Agony as Palace crashed to their tenants at Sellers Park. Save as a hero. Martin Pike, regular in the Fulham side this season. There's another one, of course, Simon Morgan, club captain, and he scored! Fulham take the lead. Russell Mira rather let that one through his hats. Payne, Bondley again. Good running by Payne, and he's in the clear, and it's got it! Despite the efforts of Big Jim Stannard, Payne has scored, and it's 1-1. So much commitment from these players tonight, and the break is on for Bull. He scores! Barnett going for Gary Bull! That solo effort there from Gary Bull put it Barnett through to the quarter-final. So on to the last game of round one. Shooting charts on a goal! Scored by Jason Reese.
Mika! One one. McCarthy, really strong run. And what a good finish, too. Alan McCarthy into the far corner. And Chris Park Rangers, from being a goal down, now lead 2 1. Hughes taking on Whip. And it's 2 2. All of a sudden, that drama then. Both sides have already missed one penalty each. So Tony Witter for the holders. Lackey figure. And oh, great save by Chamberlain. So it's all down to Luton now. If they oh, the score, they are through as winners. When we do the calculations. Rangers qualify anyway as the highest scorers among the losers. This for a quarter-final place. Scott Oates. That's it. One thing's for sure, this is no end of season kickabout. Plenty of goals already and plenty more to come. So on to the quarterfinals. Orient play Wimbledon, West Ham play Barnet, Watford play Luton and Charlton take on QPR. So this is the first of the quarterfinal matches. It's Wimbledon versus Leighton Orient. Holtzworth. And a goal from Barton. Or was he inside? I think the linesman has ruled that he was just inside the penalty area. Forced wide by Ludden. Support though from Earl. And from Barton. Could be a shooting chance here. Terrific save by Chris Turner. Taylor. Barton to Earl. Earl shoots. Stick through and Wimbledon take the lead. Now, is that going to be enough to take them through to the semi finals? The last 10 seconds. Speculative shots and no real problem for Hatsagas. The shot from Carter and surely now Wimbledon are going to do it. And there is the final whistle saluted by Samaban. Vinnie Jones over on the sidelines. Wimbledon to the in the last four. And Leighton Orient go well. Robbie, a wonderful strike there to put you in the semi finals. Yeah, it was typical stuff from the Dons. Kept it tight, nicked a goal, sat on it. That's the usual stuff. I honestly thought you were going to go penalties again there. You couldn't have been relishing that very much. We don't mind. We've got the Dutchman in goal. He loves the penalties. He loves all that. So we don't mind keeping it tight. And we, know, we think we'll nick a goal here and there. Now Martin Allen, for try, and Mira just holding on. Bull, this is Sorrell, and Kevin Hitchcock lost it for a second there. Lucky escape for West Ham. And no easy passage for them into the semi-finals. Barnett are making sure of that, but here's Potts going through, and Mira again excels. Fabulous goalkeeping by Russell, Russell Mirror. Now Bodley. Oh, good play. And a fight save by Hitchcock. Keane. Allen ahead of him. Now he's inside. Oh, Clive Allen. Very disappointed. And he was only just over that line. Certainly from my view. The referee was absolutely right, supported by the linesman. Here's Naylor now, charged by Clive Allen. And Allen yeah. has scored! Well, the referee was trying to have a word with Clive Allen then about his tackle, his challenge. One was there. And while he was trying to do so, Clive Allen scored. Both teams gave everything they've got. Superb game, we got the right result. Oh yeah, that's the best game so far, great goal from you. Yeah, it was lively, lively game, both teams wanted to go forward, score goals. Keepers played well, but uh, we managed to win. You've got a good team out there, I mean, you've really got to fancy yourselves now to go all the way. Yeah, the boys are on a high, they really are, they're enjoying themselves, enjoying their football, enjoying life at the moment. Head off by Gray. 
Now, no go. Yes. Oh, it's a really good goal by Lee Nogan. Now, Watford go in front. Former Welsh under-21 international. Oh, what a goal from Andy Hassenthaler. And Watford go two up. Priest away from Hassenthaler. And it was deflected. Suckling, though, just managing to make the save. Now Hassenthaler. Now that's settled it. It looks like being the best win of the competition so far. Two goals in this one for Andy Hassenthaler and his third in the competition so far. The top scorer. Ten seconds to go in the first half. Scott Minto. Tangling with McCarthy. Well, it's gone into the corner. And has the referee given the goal or not? It was right on the whistle. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's been given. Minto pursued by Witter. And then a terrific goal by Garland. That's two. An explosive shot by Peter Garland gives Chop the cushion of the second goal. So, just to confirm the quarter-final results, Wimbledon beat Leighton Orient 1-0, West Ham beat Barnet 1-0, Watford beat Luton 3-0, and Charlton beat QPR 2-0. So, the semi-finals look like this. West Ham play Watford, Wimbledon play Charlton. Now, Martin Allen. Playoff by Keane Allen. Driven through by Clive Allen. First the shot from Martin, then from Clive. Both the Allens then extremely unlucky not to give their team the lead. Hassan Tala for Watford. Place in the final worth at least six thousand pounds to each team. Drysdale looking for movement from Nogan ahead of him and Porter here. Now Nogan, good build up by Watford, and it's sneaking. It's an own goal, and it's scotting off Clive Allen to give Watford the lead. Now, Rock Thomas. Oh, not the two! Really superb finish by Rock Thomas. And West Ham now are in deep trouble. Two down. Taken by Keane. Martin Allen driving it through. Clive Allen and Keane taking over. That's safety through to Perry Suckling. No let up in the pace in this semi final. Thomas, all oh, let it run too far. Clive Allen. Keane waiting in the middle. Good save though by Suckling. Hassan Tala. Looking more and more now as if Watford are going to be the surprise finalists. Okay, Watford, you Porter. Got the team in the final. Let's go. Ten. Ten seconds to go. And Watford are going through. That'll be a free kick if there's time to take it. I doubt there will be. It's too late for West Ham. And they are out. That's it. Watford West Ham are in the final of the London Five Side Championships. Steve, a wonderful achievement by your side there, getting to the final. Did you think you could get this far? Yes, we've got some good footballers in the side. Um, had a disappointing season and they were uh, very aware that they had to make up for that tonight. So, we've got a lot of supporters here and uh, I think we've uh, made it worth their while coming. Dyer taking on scales. Still Dyer. And oh, terrific save by Sagas. Really good work, though, by Alex Dyer to get his shot in and then denied by the athleticism of Hans Sagers. Barton. Well cut out by Barber. The break is on for Charlton. 
Oh, another magnificent save by Sagas. Wimbledon's player of the year. And you will, I think you'd say their player of the tournament so far for Wimbledon anyway. Barton now. Oh, very close. Salmon beaten. Vinnie Jones. I'm sure he'd love to be out there. Having to settle for a place on the sidelines. But doing his best to lift his team. With a place in the final so near. Palmer! Segas is there. More splendid goalkeeping by the Dutchman. Looks like penalties now, unless maybe Wimbledon can snatch it here. Scales with the shot. Time for Dyer. Balmer. Ten seconds is counted down for a penalty shoot. There are only ten, ten seconds left. Nine, eight, Balmer seven, touching it back. Six, five, five seconds left, four, and it's all down three, to penalties. Two. One. It's penalties. Now, Ron Barton with the first kick for Wimbledon. So it's going to be first penalty. Nick Salmon, who's played the last ten Ron games Barton. in the first team, has reserved to Bob Boulder. Now, what could he do here? Oh. Well, nothing he could do really to save that kick. Bob Warren Barton just slid. Comfortably into the corner. Up to the other end. Now the action switches to the other end. Alex and Dyer nominated Alex Dyer. as the first penalty taker for Charlton. Matt Sagers, who's been in magnificent form. And he was deceived. But the referee says no, take it again. It's going to be retaken. The fate beforehand is not allowed. Extra tension. So the tension all now on Alex Dyer. And he can't do that either. <laughs> well, that's quite amazing. Two players shaking hands. And even Calvin Morton sees the funny side of it. What's he going to do this time? Headed in? the hero. Vinny's definitely getting more riled up on the sides here. Well, he's the manager tonight and uh, he's claiming now it's uh, three out of three. So he's, he's the best manager in England now. Yeah, you've left Joe Kinnear at home tonight. Yeah, Joe's out, Vinny's in, he's the man, man. John, it's all about psycho mode and uh, I've been grimble and are the best team to do that. And uh, especially with the penalties, I just sucked uh, the, the forwards out and uh, so far it worked out. Exciting stuff then, so a real competitive final on the cards. It's the top draw side, Wimbledon from the Premier League versus Watford, the surprise team from the First Division. And I'm off to join Peter Brackley in the commentary box. Let's make it a big one. The final, the main event, the Eden Standard. Five aside, final for 93 is underway. Five aside, final, away we go. And one thing is certain, there will be new winners this year. Neither Wimbledon nor Watford have won the competition before. Earls lay off towards Holdsworth. John Scales. Jostling with Nogan and a free kick given to Watford. John Salako now alongside me. Your thoughts on how this one might go, John? Well, Watford have played some wonderful stuff. They love playing five-a-side. They're knocking it around and they're high scorers in a tournament. And I can see them winning this one. Right, we'll see if your prediction turns out that way. Here's Nogan. Pat Sagers, who's certainly been a contender for the man of the tournament. We'll see if he is later on. There's Robbie Earl with the shot. Hassan Tala. 
Porter taking over. Very influential for Watford. Now Nogan. Holdsworth with Barton taking over. Pat Sagers, a series of tremendous saves from him during Wimbledon's progress to the final. Holdsworth. Scales. This is Robbie Earl. Now Holdsworth turning well! That was goal by Dean Holdsworth! Yeah, that was a magic turn. On a six-first turn, he knew where the goal was and just angled it away from Perry Suckley. Wimbledon in front, thanks to Dean Holdsworth! Terrific drive there by Rysdale. Wimbledon are quite unbelievable, they've got their whole entourage here tonight. Vinnie Jones is managing the side, and even Sam Herman's there on the bench, firing them on. Robbie Earl. And there they are. Vinny and Sam. This is Holdsworth. Always a danger. And his goal dividing the teams in this final. Into the last ten seconds in, coming as No foul, Tony Ward ten, waiting to play on. Nine, ten seconds of the eight, first half to go. Seven, six. Cut out by Hassan Tyler, Porter, no good! Oh, great chance for Watford, and it's gone by. And they really might have got back in it there, John. Yeah, he knew he had to take it quick, he was running out of ground. He was very conscious about not getting in the box, and that he took his eye off the ball and just missed it as he swung for it. But just looking back over the uh, tournament as the subs come on for Watford, it's a game that emphasises the passing ability of the players. Yeah, superb really, all evening. The passing and the movement from all the sides tonight have been very good. And it certainly made for great entertainment. Into the second half then. The double switch made by Watford as they have throughout the competition. Bringing on Jason Sullivan, number seven, and Rob Thomas swearing six. This is Thomas now. And he's trying to wriggle through and nearly got there as well. Some stern Wimbledon defending. I mean, he's got great little skills and in tight, confined areas like this. He could be the one to unlock Wimbledon's defence. Hassan Tala to Porter. Now Solomon. Oh, yes! Equaliser! Oh, great strike. That is what Watford have been doing all evening. They're not scared to shoot from anywhere. They've rolled it to the side. He's kept his head down and drilled it low into the corner. What? What? Courtesy of England Youth International, Jason Solomon. Jason Solomon. And we've got a final on our hands now. Holdsworth. Free kick. Holdsworth. Scales to Barton. Tight now for the Watford fans to find their voices. Thomas. Very effective player and so quick and sharp too. And there's the shot from Hassan Tyler. He certainly knows where the goal is. That's got too high. Free kick to Wimbledon. Coming into the last four minutes now. We'll lose the final. Let's get some noise going. Come on, it's Wimbledon. It's Watford. It's what a piece. It's the big final. The break is off for Watford. Thomas. Hassan was away to his left. It goes in alone. Porter. Sagers just hanging on. Yeah, great save there again. Watford piling the pressure on. Here's Earl. And Holdsworth. Oh! Chance squandered. Holdsworth again. It'll have to go back. I spoke to Hans Sagers after the semi-final, he says he's relishing another penalty shootout in the final here. I bet he is. I think he's got his eye on that man of the tournament trophy. Robbie Earl! Well, Sutcliffe was a long way out, he was stranded then, and Earl couldn't keep it down. Yeah, that was unfortunate, he just needed to get his head over the ball. He was still a long way out. Perry Suckling Eight, struggling to seven, get back in the box, but six, couldn't keep it down. Five, Just a few four, seconds left, and I three, suppose it had to be two, the final. One, as Sagers holds that one, he's going to penalties. 
Well, it was fast and furious, it was frantic football. Who's your money on now, John? I think I'm going to have to go for Wimbledon. Hans Sagers has had a magnificent tournament. He relishes the penalty shootout, he just throws himself at it. They've got Vinnie Jones and Sam on the bench winding everyone up, winding the boys up. And I feel as though the psychological warfare that's going out there could get to the young Watford players. Well, the technique for taking penalties tonight is definitely pick your spot, and I think is a side foot. There's too much risk with a blast. Well, here's Warren Barton with the first one. And that's saved by Perry Suckling. So, it's well, still Sutton there. And now, that's quite unbelievable. He's hit that simple. smack bang in the middle of the goal. Perry Suckling dived to his left, but he's just hit his legs. So, it's all down now to Watford's ability to beat Hans Sagers. And it's Watford. going to be Gary Porter, who has been entrusted with the job of scoring this penalty. Yeah, Gary Porter's got a sweet left foot. I'm Once sure he'll again. just pick his spot, keep his head down and slot this in the corner. There's a bit of psyching going on. The pressure on. on the face of Hans Sagers. Saying that from his run-up. Here's Porter's kick. It's there! And Watford are the winners. Of the evening stand, London Five Aside Championship. Well, I don't think anyone would have predicted them from the off, John. Fair credit to them, they played exceptionally well and they've come through at the finish. Yeah, they've done the first division proud, they've been brilliant. Scared to shoot, they came out here to enjoy themselves. And they've done Watford proud tonight. Great composure on a big stage, and they've beaten Premier League opposition. And certainly they were deserved winners of the trophy. You know, we're, we're a good football inside, we've scored goals and I think we very much deserve to win it. I think people are going to be wondering out there how much five side you play in your training. Not enough. <laughs> I mean, you've been, you, Perry's done you proud tonight. Perry, you did absolutely magnificent. What was going through your mind on the penalty? Um, I just thought the lads really, I think uh, without that we've been the best side tonight and uh, I knew that I was going to save it and as you know John I used to save yours in training so it's, uh, <laughs> it was just one of those things. It's not a very long way out was it? No it's quite near but luckily for me he's uh, just did it straight down the middle and just got my foot to it. Gary, composure at his best, talk us through it. Oh well just put the boards down and uh, coolly put it in the uh, corner. You know, did you well. know exactly what you were going to do before you did it? Yes definitely. Knew what was at stake. So what are you going to do with the 10 grand prize money, guys? What 10 grand? What 10 grand? Put it in your pitch.